Hey guys, it's Pokegod912. I know it's been a really long time, it's been like six months. But yeah, I'm back. And the reason I haven't been making videos for so long is because, you know, schoolwork and stuff, and I've been sick for a while. And it took me forever just to get this camera. And so, yeah, but I finally found some free time, and I figured, hey, let's make a walkthrough. So I will. I'll be continuing my Pokemon Black walkthrough. And I can't find anything to fit in the story right now, because I sort of skipped around. Just before my old camera broke, I uh, filmed some videos on it, but... Now, the camera broke, so the videos are gone, including part of my next, what my next black box would have been. But anyway, basically what happens is you start back in your room, I'll go back here. Yeah, you start back in your room, you go down, you see there's two of your mom here. I'm not joking, there will literally be two of your mom here. You figure out that one of them is actually Looker from Platinum version, if any of you remember him. So anyway, he talks about the seven sages, blah blah blah, they're still around. And that you should try and stop them, and we'll do that later, but... Anyway, then he gives you the super rod, and you leave, and you can leave. You go outside, and then you see Charon and Bianca. Who will talk to you? Hold on, I'm just adjusting my camera. They'll talk to you about Black City and White Forest. Well, not White Forest. That's in White Version. But anyway, they'll talk to you about Black City. Well, really, just Bianca. Anyway, that's what we're gonna go do now. You can see only blasters in my party right now. I was um, in a. Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi tournament in autumn, so I used Pokemon for my battle box and I locked it, I just got out of it. So anyway, we're gonna fly over to Mombasa City. Hope you guys can see the words, by the way, I hope it's not too blurry. All right, here we are in Mombasa City. Just so you can read that, okay? Just tell me if the video quality is not good enough. I'll figure out a way to make it better. Anyway, time to get our Pokemon out. If you notice, there's my nice shiny Raikou. I don't need to move the box around. Zoa, which I'll go into later. So let's get into our team here. Krillin, level 57. These Pokemon are probably a lot higher levels than you remember them. I was training them for a while. Trunks, level 63. Good old Trunks. Oh, shiny Hydreigon. Oh, my cover. Eh, I hacked on that. Don't worry, I won't be using him in my walkthrough. Since you've seen Shiny Hydreigon, you might as well see Shiny Gold too. Yeah. I got these from John Carl Harimango 11's Wi-Fi event. Hack Wi-Fi event. Anyway, Drew level 57. Voltage level 57. DK level 58. And that's it. There's also White Flame, which I got up to level 53. But I won't be using him, and I probably will not be using him anytime soon. But he does have the Lucky Egg. I might need that later. Alright, so anyway. Go up this way. We'll make it to Black City. Just go past this. Push your battle trainers here. Shouldn't be a real problem.
And here comes the marvelous bridge. Uh, I don't know if there were any trainers here. I know around halfway through, like right here, the three ninja guys that work for Get to stop you and give you the three orbs from Yelga, Palkia, and Giratina. The Admin Orb, the Lustrous Orb, and the Greasiest Orb. But yeah, that's all that we missed from my missing videos, which I'll probably never recover anytime soon. Uh, right. This way, there's a root, root 15, yeah, I won't be battling anyone here, anyway, here's the pokey transfer area, we'll be looking at that later, and alright, we've made it to Black City. Now, my black, the, how many people you get to start out with depends on how many, um, to how long it took you to finish the game. I'm still a little sketchy on if you get more people, if it took you longer to finish the game, or less time to finish the game. Anyway, these are the people I have now. I'm gonna get some more people through, um, you can get it through, um, wireless on your C gear, so I'll go click on that. I don't have a stylus, by the way, so I'm just using my finger. And going through the intro link. And I'll just get my white version set up. So, we can do this. White version. By the way, it's winter by the way. Alright, move black version back in. Alright, so, uh, sorry about that. Again, I'm going to white version. I'm thinking, uh, I need to be in one of the entering spots. Hi. I'll show you what white forest looks like. That's what white forest looks like. As you can see, I don't have that many people here. Haven't played, I, well it's not that I haven't played it in a while. It's just that I put it in another DS, and if you put your game in another DS, then it resets all your people. Well, it doesn't reset them, it just counts it as time going by, like a day, or something. Because if you don't play your game for a while, then the people will go away that you can get. So I don't think I've explained that very well. I'll explain it in white version. So basically, people will come to your game, whether if they were already there, or you can get them through other people's opposite game, meaning if you have white version, you have to recruit people with black version. You have to recruit people from other people's black versions. So, basically, in white version, white forest, you can basically only just talk to people and they'll uh, usually tell you that they saw a Pokemon. And in the grass, basically, that's what Pokemon you can get. So you can have up to 10 people in White Forest, same with Black City, but so basically you can see up to 10 Pokemon. Or, well actually it's a little more than 10 because of uh, the ocean here, you can see other Pokemon. And so, the more people you get the in White Forest, then these trees will grow, the lakes will turn into either one big lake or two big lakes. Depending on how lucky you get, you either get one lake or two lakes, and you'll get a lot more grass. 
Also, random items will start popping up in random places. So you can get those, and the item you get is dependent on the person that's there. Alright, and in a moment I'll explain to you Black City, but now I'm just gonna get um, the people from White Forest. So, bring it back to Black Version. Alright, I'll look for someone else's game. Different. I don't. I think it's based on your sprite that you choose for Wi-Fi. That I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so now you can get this bottom screen. And you can just tap to any city on the map. It means up there. And any place you'll have will have you go to will have this music. So let's talk to some people. Oh, by the way, you can see yourself here. See? I'm the white version over. See, right here. You can just go through your... The person who's in another game. Mm, yeah, that's about it. You can do other stuff in the entry link, but I'll get into that later. Now... Mainly trying to get people. Emmy is a girl that's like always there for every game. She never wants to come to Blessing. Oh, see, this guy wants to come. Frederick, alright. Alright, Frederick. See, Carlos wants to come. Yep. Got Carlos. Karina, nope. Anyone else here? Oh, got two more people. Mary. Nope, you don't want to come. Oh, no. Pierce. Yes. And Doug. Nope, Doug doesn't want to come. Sylvia. Nope. And finally this one. Ralph. Nope. You don't get anyone else. But that's a good amount of heat ball. I probably have about like seven or eight heat ball out of ten. That's almost all of them. Now it's time to go back to where I was. Okay, now as you can see in Black City, the buildings get bigger based on how many people you have here. And also, if you have enough people, you get this big building. It's orange. You can go in it, and there'll be people inside. You can't battle them. Well, you can. There's a rotation battle person somewhere around here. I probably already did it. Oh, there's this person. All right. Let's battle him. Hold on. I just want to make sure I get a good team here. Uh, Alright, let's have our first battle in the new walkthrough. Alright, let's do it. By the way, I'm probably going to go over 15 minutes in this walkthrough. Just so you know. Oh, so you got Crocodile, Crocodile, and Galvanza. All over 65. So oh, better than me than my first one. That's not good. But anyway. Yeah. Finish. Dang it. He switched. Did I switch to a good token? Oh man, Earthquake. Really? You almost killed Krillin. 
Dang, I noticed that the battle scenes were pretty messy on this new camera. I'll have to fix that, but for now, it's okay. Aqua Jet. He's going to lose anyway. I'm going to get the best out. Outrage. Ooh. Krillin! No! You were defeated by Cell. No, Frieza. Yeah, Frieza's better. He didn't actually lose to Cell in Dragon Ball Z ever. Alright, Drew. Let's see how you do. Use Brick Break. Take down. Well, Ditch, we roll 58. Alright. He's ran out, got Rancho. Alright. Alright. To the left, and oh no, we need sucker punch first. That's not good. Alright, oh, slam! Ah, oh, jeez, not good. Slam again, Trunks. You don't have many options. What do you use? Let's use the charity. Sucker punch again? That completely ruins the purpose of agility. You just need to move on and if you go first. And I have no choice of these trunks because I don't think anyone else is good enough to beat this person. Use Leaf Blade. Use your mighty sword of power that you got from Tapion. Yes, I know I'm making a lot of Dragon Ball Z references. Most of you probably won't get them. But some of you might. Telekinesis is telekinesis, isn't it? Leaf blade doesn't seem to affect me at all. I don't understand what telekinesis does. Anyway, the match is over. We do level 59. Oh, 58. Come on. Level 58. 57. Alright. Well, I'm sure it's already 17 minutes. Well, let's have one battle before we leave. Battle uh, with someone speed blaster. So they are. I'll explain the this place more. You can buy items here, and the items you have. Well, like, there are other items too, but see this person here, Pokeball and Overstone, and that's because that's what items I had from. The people I got. I don't know why it's only. Oh, yeah, see, there's more. There's another person here. They sell more stuff. Alright, so. Anyway, we'll probably get to the battles in the next walkthrough. Now, this is Pokegod912. I'm signing off.